Thank you, Colonel Flaherty, and, and welcome everybody. And again, thank you for uh, helping us help our customers and help the citizens of the Commonwealth and all those who will be visiting us on uh, the week of the 20th of January. Uh, hopefully you got from Colonel Flaherty the sense of excitement that we all have in planning and preparing for this event. Uh, we have well over 30 agencies at federal, state, and local levels that are working together to make this plan a reality and to help customers and visitors and guests uh, to this significant event really enjoy and be prepared for the event that they're going to be able to witness and be a part of. Over the last several weeks, as, as the Colonel has said, we've been uh, working through, and he's outlined for you, uh, the lane restrictions and the use of our highways coming into uh, D.C. from the Commonwealth. I won't repeat all of those. We've, we've tried to illustrate for you on the maps here and have detailed information for you on how those lane restrictions will be used. We do need to emphasize that you will see modified schedules for HOV usage on I-66 and I-395 beginning as early as uh, about the 17th of January going all the way through the 21st. That's to facilitate all the different activities that will be going on throughout that period. So we do encourage people to pay attention, to check the websites, uh, and also look for Use 511 to get that information. In addition, there are other things that we are doing uh, with respect to the highway network, the transportation network, to ensure that other activities don't get in the way of the events that are occurring. Uh, we want to ensure that every possible lane is open to serve motorists traveling into the area. Therefore, we're working closely with our contractors and we'll suspend all non-emergency construction and maintenance lane closures on the interstates 66, 95, 395, and 495 in Northern Virginia uh, during the event. In addition, we'll suspend lane closures on heavily traveled roads in Northern Virginia, including routes 1, 7, 28, 29, 50, 234, and 236, the Dulles Toll Road, Fairfax County Parkway, and Prince William Parkway. All of those restrictions will go into effect generally around January 16th at noon, and will be in effect through approximately Wednesday, January 21st. Another aspect of what we're doing to help people uh, through the area. We as the state police and other agencies are doing are focusing and deploying resources so that uh, people can get information. As, as an example, we'll have over 150 fixed variable message signs in operation. That will be supplemented with another 100 portable message signs. We'll have over 200 uh, closed circuit TV cameras available and we're deploying another dozen around the Commonwealth so that people when they log into the websites can check traffic, can get a chance to see what's going on and there will be good messages for them as they approach the area. We obviously will also have uh, traffic control measures in place, cones, barrels, those kinds of things that uh, all drivers are familiar with. Uh, like the state police, we will have uh, well over 400 people statewide who will be engaged in actively managing the traffic both here and in other parts of the, of the Commonwealth. We also within our department have created a ready reserve just in case there's extra need so that we are prepared to bring additional resources into uh, Northern Virginia. In case of bad weather, we have our crews uh, standing by. They will be pre-treating roads with anti-icing chemicals just in case there happens to be a snow event uh, during that day. We will have over 80 uh, 
safety patrollers who will be following 43 different routes throughout the Northern Virginia, D.C. area to provide motorist assistance to anyone who is having trouble or broken, or if there's a problem with a, with a bus that's using the area. We also will have uh, record services available for breakdown so that we ensure that roadways are cleared quickly and that people are uh, uh, given every opportunity they can to get to the event. Also, our, our key piece is, is information for people. Colonel Flaherty focused on it. It is absolutely critical to us that people have information and know where to get information. We encourage everyone coming to use 511, uh, either from a landline phone or from your cell phone. It will give you current information, uh, both on congestion and on where there may be incidents. We also would encourage anyone planning to attend to make use of our website, 511virginia.org. Again, that's 511virginia.org. There you'll be able to access the cameras, uh, all the information that's available. It will give you links to all the other websites so it will help you with planning and current information. We'll also have highway advisory radios, uh, pre-positioned and broadcasting messages as necessary. These will all supplement uh, all our normal traffic uh, activities. VDOT and our partners will be working diligently to provide the best possible access to those who are traveling to the capital region for the inaugural celebrations. We're as excited as the rest of the country in participating in that event and making it a success. But as the Colonel has emphasized, planning ahead, being prepared, and, and knowing that you're going to be a part of history is an important part of uh, getting ready and coming to this event. We are also concerned about people who may be traveling through the area and who will need to avoid Washington, D.C. on their travels. So you will find, they will find on our 511 and websites uh, directions and diversion routes. We obviously, if you're coming from the south, would encourage people to take I-64 and then I-81 around the capital area. If you're coming from the north, we'd encourage you to use I-81 as you come in from Pennsylvania and points north. Uh, those will ease your trip and help you as you're going cross country. This, is, this is a, as I said again, is, is an exciting event for all of us and an event that we want to be really successful. And it will be successful because of all the partners that are here at the, at the podium this afternoon, all those who are working in other places as we are talking. Public transportation is a key element of that, uh, of that success.